everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and today I am here with my grandson, Gideon. Hi, Gideon. Hello. How old are you, Gideon? Eleven. Eleven. Gideon is eleven. That is the prime sewing age, I think. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. You think it's a good idea? Uh -huh. I don't know if you can tell this about Gideon, but he is quite a snappy dresser. This boy <laughs> pays attention. Take a look at this. We've got the uh, pizza shirt with the matching pizza button up on the outside. Very nice. So Gideon, what do you want to make today? A bow tie. Of course you do. Gideon wants to make a bow tie and we are going to show you a super easy way to do that, Gideon and I. So we're going to start with, you have to look at the fabric he's chosen now. This is Star Wars fabric right here and we have yep. a nice floral piece mm -hmm. for something else we're going to do. Oh. We're going to do a surprise for your sister. Okay. Are you right? Are you right with that? Yep. All right. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to take two five-inch squares and we're going to cut off an inch and a half piece. Now, which one of these do you want to start with? Um, wait, which one is going to be like the body part? These, this is going to be one bow tie and this can be one bow tie. Um, this one. All right, we'll start with that one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut an inch and a half off here like this. And yeah. you want to pay attention to what direction your fabric is because we want these guys, we want the body of the bow tie to be uh -huh. going this direction. Yeah. All right. So one and a half uh, inches. I'm just going to cut off the bottom here. Yep. And what I want you to do now is I want you to take these two pieces and we're going to put them right sides together like this. Yeah. So facing each other. And I want you to sew a quarter of an inch all the way around the outside edge. All right. Let me, um, let, let's iron this little pleat out of here. Can right. you just go ahead and touch the iron and it will get hot. And then you can iron that so, because it's important that it's nice and flat. Oh, took it right out. Look at that. Mm. All right, so now we're going to go to the sewing machine right here. We're setting this up and Gideon, he has actually sewn some things before. So he's pretty confident here at his abilities. And uh, he's just going to sew around this. Yep, go nice and slow so your ste seams stay even. And you can sew right off the end or you can you can leave your needle down and lift this up and pivot. Now, Gideon, where are you watching so that your needle can, um, I mean, where are you? Are you lining it up along the inside edge of this? Yeah, no. Yeah. Okay. I think. That is perfect. So watch so this fabric stays right along that silver toe. All right. While Gideon's doing that, I'm going to take one of these one and a half inch pieces that we have off and I'm going to iron it to the inside. So I'm going to fold it in half like this. And then I'm going to fold the two pieces into the center like this. And one more. And then I'm going to fold it in half again. How are you doing? I think I'm done. You're done. Awesome. All right. Now what I want you to do is see I have this little piece right here and I've ironed the two sides to the middle like this Ooh. and then folded it in half like this. Now what I want you to do, and you have to be super careful about this. Oh, do you need to do some trimming? Yeah. So when you're trimming, Gid, you want to just, if you just clip that little corner a little bit, like just, just like, yeah, just like right out by that edge. Now, can you come and do that in here so we can be sure everybody can see that? Yeah. Because I have a feeling there's going to be some dapper dressed boys out there just from watching you do this video. Yep, you clip that corner. That's going to make it easier to turn and it's going to make your corners really sharp. Okay. Yep, those are the tricks of the trade, mister. I didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you have a grandma. Yep. That's right. All right, now right here I see that you stopped sewing before you hit that edge oh. and you stopped right here. So you're going to want to go and finish that all the way up on both all of those right. sides. So, yep. Like. I just, what I would do is I would turn it this way and I would line that up like that 
and set your needle down in the stitch like this. So let's look where it's actually going to sew. All right. And then just go ahead and sew off all the way off that end. There you go. And then over here, another one too. So right. like this. And then and just then sew across there all down. the way to the end. And then. There you go. Perfect. All right. These little sewing machines have a nice little cutter on the side. All right, now what you're going to do, this is going to make the little band that we're going to put around the center of the bow tie to make it um, squinch up in the middle. Yep. So what I want you to do is I want you to sew a stitch right along this edge right here. Just pretty close to the edge, okay? All right. So right here. Yeah, I would, uh, yeah, just go ahead and sew right there, like one, one, like, one sew right down the middle. That's good. Perfect. Oh. All right, now you can clip that off. All right, the next thing you need to do is you need to take this bow tie right here. Yeah. And we need to clip this. And see, I pulled the fabric apart, so I'm only yeah. cutting one side and make a little cut like this so that you can now flip it inside out. So I want you to turn that right side out. Oh, yeah, I remember doing that. Yeah? Now, were you, while you're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to cut a piece off of this flowered one because I think it would be fun to make Ashlyn a bow as well and while mm -hmm. Ashlyn won't wear a hair bow these work perfect I mean a, a bow tie these work perfect for hair bows so I'm going to sew this around while you're doing that Ready? and I'm just going to go super fast now it really doesn't matter what your um, seam size is when you're making these bow ties because it just depends on what size you want to end up with, right? Yeah. So you could actually make a giant bow tie if you wanted to. Whoa. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right, now I'm going to make a little cut right here so I can turn this one too. Now when you get your, your thing mostly turned, what I want you to do is I want you to take a little um, turning tool. Like we, we, have a, um, we have a little, oh, we have all kinds of little things you can turn with. I like to use like a little pencil end and just push it up in the corner and push oh. the corner out like that. So do that on all four corners and I'll turn mine too. We'll just make this work. That helps a lot. Doesn't that help a lot? Yeah. And I have a little, oh, I'll use yours. Okay. All right, so now we need to put the middle part on there. Okay. Let me see, hang on just a sec. All right. So, so let's press this. Let's go ahead and press this. Okay. And you'll notice there's still a big hole on the back, right? Yeah. But we're not going to worry about that. And here's why. We're going to put this middle band around it right here, mm -hmm. just like this. And this is going to all get squinched up like this. Yeah. And then we're going to just pull this band. We're going to see how tight we want it, like about uh -huh. this tight. Yeah. Does that look like a good bow tie? Can you see how fast mm -hmm. that went together? All right, I'm going to slide this out. And I'm going to have you sew right across here, OK? Oh. So right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's. Uh, it's probably easiest if you, a little bit more room, a little bit more, no, the other way, that way, that way, there you go. And then you're going to sew, and we probably need to move this forward now, don't we? Yeah. I got longer legs than you, but not forever. All right, now stop, and then you're going to push this backup button, and sew back, and they're going to go forward. And then it will stop. 
and we'll go back. We just want to make sure it's really secure. All right, now let's open it up. And up. Yeah, we'll trim this all up because we don't want any of those threads or fluff. Yeah. No. And then what we're going to do is we're going to trim this about a quarter of an inch from where we sewed it. Yes. Okay, just like that. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to flip this right side out like this. And it just makes this little ring. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then I want you to push this through. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with the seam part in the back by this seam part. Yeah. And we're just going to pull this in like this. So All you right. go ahead and pull that through. There you go. Now center it up in the middle <coughs> like this. Okay. Make sure these parts flip up right here. So we kind of have to do it two-handed and we flip up. Now all we need to do is add some elastic so that this will fit around your neck like this. So yeah. we're going to kind of loosely measure your neck because shirts aren't exactly the size of your neck. They're a little bit bigger. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this through. I'm going to cut it. We're going to slide this through here like this. Okay. Just like that. Alrighty. And then we're going to sew this end together. And we're going to sew it flat. So we're going to overlap it like this. Just yeah. overlap it. And we're going to sew one seam right down the middle. Alrighty. Okay. And that is completely adjustable. So if you need to change that so that it's, um, it's tighter, super easy to do. All right. I'm going to iron this middle over here. You good? Yep. I heard a little clunk. As long as you're okay. Okay. Underneath. Did it, did it stick? Yeah. Perfect. All right. So now let's look how this looks on you. We're going to put it over your very carefully done hair. We're going to tuck your little collar under here. And I would actually probably make this bow tie a little bit smaller, but it looks so cute. Come out here where everybody can see you. Can you see this? How cute is that? All right, let's quick finish up one for Ashlyn so they can see what it looks like as a hair bow. Okay. So this right here, we need to sew a strip down the middle. Okay. We can't tell her. It's going to be a surprise, all right? Okie dokie. Now, if Ashlyn needed a big hair bow, you know, Ashlyn, good sister Ashlyn is a cheerleader, and sometimes they wear big hair bows in their hair, and she could make big ones out of this. Just change the size of your square. If you use a bigger square, you're going to get a bigger bow or a bigger bow tie. Oh. Her came off. You know what? It's okay if it came off because here's why. We're only going to use a little piece of it to squinch it up. Oh yeah. Remember? So let's go ahead and we'll sew this right here. As a matter of fact, I'll cut it first and let you sew along that edge. Okay. So just sew on the side where the fold isn't. Now let's go back. This is the backup button. Now go forward. That's probably good. So it's always easier to have the thread pull through if you lift up this presser foot mm -hmm. because that um, the presser foot is attached to the tension rings and they, that's what makes it tight. Yep. You knew that? Um, I think. <laughs> All right. So let's pull this through here. Okay. The member the the fold is in the back. Now, yeah. even this, take a look at this. See how this is just a little bit off? Yeah. It's not going to matter because it's on the back. Yeah. So we're going to push this through like this. Okay. And then we have this cute little hair bow. We could make that a little bit tighter if we wanted to. All right. Matter of fact, let's do it. Let's okay. do it real quick. Just take this seam in a, just a tiny bit further, okay? Can okay. you do that? Yeah. And I'm going to get a piece of elastic. And this is how your elastic comes. You usually buy it in a package like this. And uh, you can just take it off and it comes. There's a 
I don't know how much is in here. One and a half yards, you know, so that's quite a bit. But because, now if she wanted to make a ponytail out of this, that would be a little one. If she wanted to make, like for her whole head, um, that would be a big one too. Do you think she wants a whole head bow or a ponytail? Mm. Oh, you know what happened? Your thread's unthreaded. Uh -oh. That's all right. That's, a, that's an okay thing to happen. It just happens sometimes. So you just follow the directions on your sewing machine. It'll ha most of them have little arrows. All right. And then um, go right down here and go through. And then you have to have good eyes to be able to thread that needle. And uh, your, grandma's, your grandma's eyes aren't so great anymore, but let's see if I can do it. <gasps> First time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's sew this one more time. Let's just go in just a little bit like this. There we go. There we go. Now we're going to go backward and go ahead and push the foot. All right. Perfect. All right. Now all these places that we sewed, this is never coming apart because we got so many little seams. But we're going to take this now and I'm going to have you slide this through here like this. All right. Okay. Now, do you think she'd rather have a ponytail hair bow or a whole um, head one? A ponytail. A ponytail. All right. I'm going to sew this together to make a little ponytail, but I can't actually sew it until we have the bow tie ready. Yep. We can't call it a bow tie. What do we call it now? A hair bow. All right. Now, I'm turning this over so the seam is on the inside. All right. Oh. And centering it up on the back where it has the open place where we turned it because you'll never see that back yeah. and then we're sliding it in here like this and i'm just going to make her a little ponytail like this all right here we go. do you think she's going to be excited about this yeah Let's trim this off. We're going to clip that. We're going to clip this. And how fun is that, huh? Yeah. So we made a bow tie and we made a little hair bow. And do you think we should have Ashlyn come in here and model this? Yep. Ashlyn, are you there? Can you come on in here? We got a surprise for you. Yeah. Look what Gideon made right there. Look at he's got on right here. Doesn't that look cool? Mm -hmm. Look, I bet we can put this right on your hair. Let me do it. You have a cute little messy bun going on. There we go. Oh, yeah. How about that, you guys? Gideon, what do you think? It's awesome. It is awesome. And was it hard? No. Super easy, wasn't it? Yeah. So you two can be dapper and dressed up just like these two. Gideon, can you look at this camera right there, right in the middle? Yep. And can you, uh, do you know how I end my videos? Yep. You sure? Yeah. All right then, say it right here. Thank you for joining us in the bow tie tutorial by Missouri Star Quilt Company. Awesome. We'll see you guys later. Bye.